Hello everyone, I have returned for NFL Picks and Predictions for week 6. We're starting to really get through this NFL season. Uh, my video is not going to be terribly long today. I have to go to work here in the next 20 minutes, so bear with me. Quick recap of what went on last week. Let me go ahead and get that up. Week 5. Colt Patriots pretty went, went pretty much went as expected. Titans Bills, please just stay away from Tennessee if you're betting, please. This is one. This is the most backwards ass team I've ever seen in the league. We we are doppelgangers. We turn into whatever team we're playing. If the team we're playing has a crappy offense, we'll have a crappy offense. If they have a good offense, we'll have a good offense. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, and again. Mariota's stats don't do him justice. I don't know if anyone here have, like saw the highlights, but that was a terrible, terrible drop from Nick Williams, who Tennessee cut yesterday in the end zone. That was an easy touchdown, and a play kept alive by Marcus Mariota went right through his hands. Tennessee's been having this issue now for the last couple weeks with receivers dropping the ball. Our Wide receiver corps, our pass catching corps, was already sketchy coming into the year. We had Rashard Matthews, Delaney Walker, Corey Davis, and a bunch of unknowns. We don't even have Rashard Matthews or Delaney Walker now. We're throwing to a bunch of scrubs. Um, someone I follow, the MJ Take Sports Fan Entertainment, I think he identified it perfectly. He said, Janu Smith, our starting tight end, and our fourth and fifth wide receivers Nick Williams and Darius Jennings are just figureheads running around and you can't expect them to do anything that's all they are they're just running around on the field because Tennessee's only legitimate receiving option is Corey Davis and Taewon Taylor and you can make a case for Tajay Sharp but still you have a number two receiver you're forcing to play number one a number three receiver, you're, forcer, you're forcing to play number two. And then a number four receiver, you're forcing to play the third receiver. That doesn't translate well. If we go up against a defense that has a good secondary, we're screwed. We're screwed. So, and again, Mariota's stats don't look good. I mean, Mariota's not the problem here, guys. I'll, national media, everyone seems to think it is, and I'm not going to say he's innocent there's a lot he could do better but look at who he's throwing the ball to other than Corey Davis other than Corey Davis he's throwing to unknowns that no one has ever heard of coming into the year Taewon Taylor Tajay Sharp um, Darius Jennings Nick Williams and Johnny Smith that is our receiving core that's disgusting so Tennessee went into Buffalo and they laid an egg to Buffalo's credit, they actually have a very good defense. Very good defense. Their issue is just the quarterback position. But other than that, Buffalo's defense is, is pretty good. Falcons-Steelers, Pittsburgh won. I got that right. Broncos-Jets, I got that one incorrect. I picked the Broncos, and the Jets ended up pooping on them. Jags-Chiefs, I picked Kansas City. Packers-Lions, people saying that Mason Crosby should get cut. Should just honestly stop. He had one bad game, and he's been a mainstay over the Packers organization for, I think, 12 years. He's fine. Ravens and Browns, finally. <sighs> that This game made me feel a whole lot better because we weren't the we weren't the only road favorite to go down against an in, what's perceived to be an inferior team. The Baltimore Ravens went into Cleveland, and they put up nine points. So... Cleveland ended up getting the win. Panthers-Giants game was a lot closer than I thought it would be, but the Panthers pulled it out. Bengals at Dolphins. Miami, tail of two seasons, tail of two halves. Bengals got the win. Raiders-Chargers, no question about that. Cardinals-Niners, I picked the Cardinals to win their first game, and they did. Vikings-Eagles. Eagles lost at home to Minnesota. And Minnesota, I'm not saying they're a bad team, but Philly's got issues, dude. Rams at Seahawks, I picked the Rams, and the Rams barely won. Texans, Cowboys, I got that right, and Redskins, Saints, I got that right. Now we go to week six. First game, Eagles at Giants. 
The Eagles need to win this game. So I'm going to go with Philadelphia here. They need to win this game. They can't drop the 2-4. and four. I think they'll take this 26-23 to 23 over the Giants. Next game, we have the Buccaneers at the Falcons. Give me Atlanta here. I know Atlanta's defense isn't exactly stellar, but Tampa's kind of fallen off a bit. And Atlanta, this is a must-win game for the Atlanta Falcons. They can't drop the 1-5. and 1-4 is one thing, but 1-5, and five, you can't come back from. So, Atlanta. That's gross. Atlanta gets the win here. 34-31. Steelers at Bengals. Give me the home team. Give me Cincinnati. Ah, oh, man. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to change my pick. I know that's probably not a good idea, but I'm going to go with the Steelers here. 20 to 17 over Cincinnati. I just can't see the Bengals at 5 and 1 and the Steelers are playing desperate ball right now. And if the Steelers fall this far behind the Cincinnati Bengals, they're in trouble. So give me this give me the Steelers here. Chargers at Browns, yeah, give me the Chargers. Um I think Cleveland's good, but I think the Chargers are just better. Um we'll go twenty-three to twenty-one. Seahawks at Raiders, give me Seattle. The Raiders are they're a bit of a mess right now. This game is still on the West Coast for the Seahawks, so they're not traveling too far. Mm. Yeah, give me Seattle still, after some further further thought. Next up, we have the Bears at the Dolphins. Oh my goodness, another away team that's going to be heavily favored. i got to go with the Bears. That's five away teams I've picked so far. Damn. A lot of, this is a scary week actually, a lot of away teams are going to be favored. A lot of them. Give me the Bears, 21-17 to 17 over Miami. Cardinals at Vikings, we're going to go Minnesota here. Uh, that shouldn't be a question, we'll go 30-14 to 14 over the Cardinals. Colts at Jets. Um, Jeez, I'm looking down this list, and all I see are away teams that should be favored. That's scary. That is really scary. That scares the crap out of me. Uh, give me the Jets here. I'm going to go with the Jets 30-20 to 20 over the Indianapolis. The Jets are coming around a little bit, and Indianapolis isn't exactly competent outside of Andrew Luck. Panthers at Redskins. The Redskins are really inconsistent, so go ahead and pick Washington in this game. I don't know what their deal is, but I'm going to go with this as your upset pick of the week because I don't see Carolina going to 4-1, and one, especially with the way they escaped last week. And Washington, they're really inconsistent, the Redskins are. It, it should drive the Redskins fan crazy. We'll go 24-17 to 17 over Carolina. Bills at Texans. Give me Houston for their third win in a row to get to 3-3. Three and three. The Texans should win this game 27-14 to 14 over Buffalo. Rams at Broncos. Gotta go with the Rams here. Um, good team. Very good team. They should get to 6-0. Uh, 31-21 to 21 over Denver. Jaguars at Cowboys, another home team that should be an underdog. Give me the Jaguars still. The Jaguars should have no problem ripping through that Cowboys offense. The Jaguars defense will be feasting, that's for sure. We'll go the Jacksonville Jaguars 24-14 to over Dallas. Ravens and Titans, oh my god. Um, great. Who's favored? Because anytime you're playing Tennessee, the favored team should be nervous. Tennessee's at home. You heard me say that home record that they had, 12-2 and in their last 14 home games. One of those wins did come against Baltimore last year.
oh man, this this game is going to have major playoff implications. Neither team can afford to lose this game. Dang it. Give me the Baltimore Ravens. I know I'm going against the Titans' home record and all that stuff, but I can't trust Tennessee right now, and I'm going to laugh my ass off if they win this game as underdogs again because that's just the way they roll. Chiefs at Patriots. Um, oh, Ravens, Titans score. We'll go 20-16. to 16. Ravens over Titans. Chiefs at Patriots. I think this is where the Chiefs' undefeated streak comes to an end. I think the Patriots get the win 35-31 to 31 over Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes, I think, crashes down to earth a little bit. There's no way he could play at that high a level consistently. So I believe the Patriots should get the win here. And last but not least, we have the Niners at the Packers. Give me the Green Bay Packers. Uh, this will be a nice rebound game for them. They'll be 3-2-1 after this game. And they should get this win pretty easily over the 49ers, 27 to 13. Man, what a what a week! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have more away teams picked than home teams. That concerns me a lot, but I'm gonna stick with what I got. Those are my picks and predictions. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for the short bit.